<laughs> and Deb persuaded me to get onto the dance floor. We're strutting our stuff for the one and only Team Wales today. Rehearsals haven't entirely been <laughs> successful for any of us. And he always makes a big entrance, doesn't he, Derek? Have a look at this. Sorry I'm late, girls. But I've got an idea for a new move. Oh. Oh. Some energy today. Here it is. Oh what do you reckon? My biggest concern is dropping Claire on the night because uh, we've got some pretty tricky moves, you know. Um, in one of the dances, I actually spin Claire up. She does a triple solco, and I've dropped, already dropped her a few times already. So, Jamie, better watch out. Friends, back in and out. In tends to have these energy spurts um, and sometimes he'll come into rehearsal and he's just so pumped up and wants to do everything and just starts flinging himself from different corners of the room. Ole, 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 ole. Feeling? Hot, hot, hot. What do you think? I don't think you need me. <laughs> I think you oh, should be just do a solo all on your you. own. <laughs> Like most Welshmen, it usually takes a phenomenal amount of beer to get me on a dance floor. Oh, yeah! That's better. There's just a sort of um, lack of talent on my part that'll probably get it horribly wrong. Of course, it's not live, is it? Oh, it is. No, it'll be fine. I can't quite connect at the moment. Our little rehearsals in this room to actually performing live on national Welsh television. I think even though it's fun, there's a tough competition going on. Not even thinking about, you know, any hope of winning, no chance at all. Little Birdie tells me that Lucy and Rodri are amazing. Derek will look like a man who's been electrocuted, and I think that really takes care of the competition. I think we'll come last. <clears throat> Rubbish! As long as we beat Jamie Louise, that's all that matters. It's murder on the dance floor. I know he sounds confident, but we're terrible, honestly. Really you look nothing like to worry you're about. having brilliant fun, though. Mm. OK, right, everybody be honest. Fun. How are rehearsals going, genuinely? Well, Louise is really good. She's really talented. She, uh, she did ballet when she was uh, she a little girl good. growing up in Anglesey. Yeah. So she has a natural ability. I'm disastrous. But we're, <laughs> we're going for the John Sargent sympathy vote. <laughs> I think, for me, it's the live thing. I think if it was on tape, you could have a couple of goes, yeah. but the fact it's live, absolutely really terrifying. There's only one thing that I'm confident about, and that's my jazz hands. Perfect. I love it. <laughs> the rest of it is absolutely <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Whose idea was this? It was your idea, it wasn't, wasn't it? It wasn't my idea. No. Was it your idea? It wasn't my idea. I think it was your idea, and I think that's because secretly you're rather good, Mr. Owen. It's... Especially in the sequins, I hear. Yeah, no, well, you know, we, well, when the petition, of course, yeah, June <laughs> Fridays, they say. Uh, it's all a bit of fun, of course, for a very good cause. Every night till uh, Friday's Children in Need, we'll be uh, meeting some of the people who benefit from the money that you raise. Tonight, it's Megan Bailey from Hrill. She's seven years old and partially blind, able only to see coloured lights. She also has physical and learning disabilities and has just learned to hug for the very first time. Here's Megan's story. 